Hi everyone, it's Luke here, and welcome to the first episode of Project A1. Now this series is pretty much going to be a documentation of the slight modifications I do to the car. Um, and let's not forget that this is my first car, so I can't go crazy on it. Um, but I do have a number of plans, um, so each video will be a different modification basically. Um, now today, episode one of Project A1, is uh, about the wheels. Now some of you eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that the wheels when I bought the car were extremely curved. Um, and that is because I bought the car from London, of course, there's lots of curves in London, um, so very easy to damage your wheels. So the basic plan for the video is uh, to jack the car up, send the wheels off to a company called My Alloys, which is a local company to me, um, so obviously it makes sense to use them. And then once they're done at My Alloys, they'll come back to me. Um, that whole process will take about three or four days, um, due to the fact they are diamond cut wheels, they are harder to refurbish. Um, and with the stuff that I'm doing as well as that, it's gonna take a bit longer as well. Um, but yeah, they'll come back to me, I'll put the wheels back on the car, and then that'll be it. So yeah, it's pretty exciting for me, because uh, of course this is my first car, and it's the first modification I'm doing to the car. Um, I thought the wheels would be one of the first things i do, obviously after buying the car and seeing that the wheels were pretty badly curved, um, I thought that must be one of the first things i do. So yeah, without further ado, let's get the car jacked up and get the wheels sent off to my alloys. So obviously the first process of this is to clean the wheels to make sure that when they go off to be refurbed, they don't have any dirt or grime on them. As you can see behind me, the car is now inside. Now without further ado, let's get them wheels off. So yeah, as you can see, the wheels have now been taken off the car, all ready to be taken off to be refurbished and have the colour changed. Uh, and while the car is still here, I'm going to be painting the brake calipers red. Uh, it's just something I've always wanted to do and I think it will work with the spec of the car. Um, as well as that, I'll be giving the car a bit of a detail. Um, I just want to make it look that little bit more shiny. So yeah, obviously the next step is to take the wheels off to my alloys. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get on our way.
so next part of the video is to tackle the brake calipers. Um, now stock to brake calipers on this are kind of a normal silver colour, kind of a bit boring. So I'm choosing to paint them red because um, I think that it contrasts well with the silver paint and also the black accents. As well as the small red little accents in the S-Line badge, I think that will work quite well as well. But yeah, we've got special heat resistant paint so obviously it's quite sustainable um, and it will last for a while. Um, so yeah, let's get started. As you can see behind me, the wheels are finally back from my alloys and basing stoke. Um, now the process did take around four days as all four wheels had to have a full refurb as they were quite damaged. Um, as well as have the diamond cut finish put on. But yeah, I'm so glad that I opted for the diamond cut finish rather than just having them gloss black. Uh, I think it makes them look a whole lot better. But yeah, this section of Project A1 is nearing completion. So let's get the rest of the wheels on and see how the finished product looks. Project A1. Please do let me know your opinions on the work done on the car in the comments down below. I do read all the comments and I'll be interested to see what you guys think of them. But yeah, other than that, I do have a few ideas for episodes to come with Project A1. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed to see all that first. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in a video very soon.